Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be making one of my tuna salad sandwiches. This is technically not my recipe, it's actually my best friend's. The first time I ever had a tuna sandwich was at her house and I loved the taste so much that she gave me the recipe. And I've never altered it, this is true to how she made it for me that day. And it's one of my favorite comfort foods. One thing about this recipe is there's not any exact measurement. I just eyeball everything so you can adjust this to your taste. The things you'll need are... One or two cans of tuna. I usually use two because I like to make a lot at once. Mayonnaise. Mustard, relish, green onions, a regular onion, and a tomato. I put my drained cans of tuna into a container, and I spoon mayonnaise into the tuna until I get a light pink color. My dad thinks it's really gross when I make this tuna salad because it doesn't have that almost light brown color that you normally see in the restaurant, but I don't like to add too much because mayonnaise isn't exactly the best thing for you, and plus everything I add to it already adds a lot more flavor. Then I drizzle some mustard into it, mix it up, cover the mixture lightly with relish, and mix that in. So now you have all of your sort of condiment, liquid, sauce ingredients in the mixture. Now it's time to take the green onion, chop it up, and mix it in. And then do the same thing with the onion. Cut a slice, mince it up, throw it into your mixture, mix it up and then do the same thing with the tomato. I saved the tomato for last because it's the most bold color out of all the cut ingredients, so it's easier for me to see if the pieces are being distributed evenly. If I do the tomato first and then the onions afterwards, it's hard for me to see whether I've put enough in. I do not know how to cut anything small enough or thinly enough, but hey, at least I get a big burst of flavor every time I take a bite, right? Anyway, after that, you're done. For me, this usually ends up being a creamy mixture, so I never really end up eating it alone. I always end up putting it on bread for a sandwich. You can of course eat this with two slices of bread, but just for cutting down the carbs a little bit, and so I get more of the tuna taste rather than bread, I eat it open-faced. My problem when I make this recipe is that if I make it, that's like the only thing I want to eat for a meal for the next couple days until it's all gone. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I warn you, if you like tuna like me, I hope you know how to pace yourself. Anyway, thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on another Sunday for another delicious domingo. Bye! Thank you.